More than just transportation, the 11 mile ferry ride from Leland sets the mood for visitors arriving at the North Manitou Island. Located in Lake Michigan, North Manitou is wild, isolated, and remote. The qualities that make it the premier destination for backpackers in Michigan's Lower Peninsula. Get your boat, sir, and come out and rescue me. You can come, come get me. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are on North Manitou Island. We made it. We just did our orientation over there. Boat dropped us off out there on the dock. My man Kirk's right here, and we're heading towards the south, towards the cemetery. Right? Yeah. Deer. Yeah. Deer right there. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that was first experience right there. Huh. Okay. Oh, we're going this way. So far, beautiful day. Um, no rain in sight. Hopefully, stay like this for the next few hours. Yeah. Boat ride over was nice. A little, little bouncy. Yeah. That was a. Well, fun like a bump in the road. There's one of the old structures for the village. The uh, looks like the front porch is caving in. They're redoing it. Yep. Put some supports up. All new flooring. I need my car if I need some AC on. Yeah. So <laughs> 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 beautiful that water is. Huh? I'm so tempted right now to go down there. Man, I see you later, Kirk. <laughs> 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 you know, you have to explore. You got three days. Come on. Well, we're going to be near the water pretty soon. We're heading that way. At one point, there were 268 people. And then at one time, it was a, a, like a deer game ranch. Yep. A game there's over 2,000 deer on the island. Now it's down to 100, I guess. We just saw one. So that's uh, one. I guess we got to go count them all. We get 99 to go. <laughs> Make sure we get them all. Look how beautiful that is. Private residence. So somebody lives here. Private one residence. person still has a place here. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> some apples. There's some apples over there. Oh, oh, it's an old apple orchard. There's apple trees all over. What'd she say? They're bitter? I think that girl said they're bitter. This is no sign, but resident. Front step falls. Smash down. Well, good. Most everybody went the other way, it looks like. Yeah. Or they're still in line with their tickets. <laughs> well, some of them went that way. Most of them. Well, there's only three ahead of us and us two going this yeah. way. So far. I take it. Well, we cannot fight here. That's designated though. No, only at that campground. I'm going to take that off. Only there. I like your way of thinking though. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot take that stick home with you. It's protected. <laughs> it's over 50 years. It's protected. <laughs> Never heard of a trash being protected before, but oh, look at the deer. Oh, hey, Buck. What's up, buddy? He's turned wilderness. No, say that again. He's <laughs> turned. <laughs> Entering wilderness, <laughs> Eastern wilderness. 
The 14,753 acre island is 7.7 .7 miles long, 4.2 miles wide, and laced with 30 miles of designated trails and secondary trails. North Manitou is the most northern section of Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore and managed as a wilderness with a ban on motors, off-road vehicles, mountain bikes, and pets. No services or supplies are available on North Manitou and there are no opportunities for a day visit as there are at South Manitou Island. Visitors must be totally self-reliant, fully equipped with food, rain gear, water filters, sun protection, tents, and other camping equipment needed to spend a night or more in the back country. The trails on North Manitou wind through impressive stands of maple and beach, across clearings that used to be farm fields and along bluffs overlooking Lake Michigan. Chipmunk. Can we eat it? There you go. Come on, come on. Are they good? You got the book? Yeah, I got the book. I got it. I'm going to set up and go hunting. I'm going to 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 go The far. Future home will leave the public Future schools, North Manitou Island campus. Initiating the offer a unique place based on education programming and LSD student. Now I'm going to see who is being rebuilt here. There is no footprint, look for it. School properties, Matt. I'm sorry, you can't camp here. Saying they got locks on the fire pit. You can't even have a fire. Yeah, school property. Can't. Bummer. Can't camp on school property. Thanks, school. So much of that. Want to? Yeah. Yeah, I want to. I can do it. I want to go. Tent site. Huh? Tent camping right here. Yeah. Perfect tent spot. Oh yeah, that's White sand beach in the shade. Okay. We walked on the beach for a while and then decided to get back into the woods and find the trail and continue on. Quarter mile to the cemetery and three quarters of a mile to Bornix. Bornix was a, a large house here. It still is, I think. But that was built by a dance instructor from Chicago. That was a summer home.
John Lester Anderson died 1907. Margaret Anderson, 1914 to 1927. Andrew Passau died 1896, 1885, 1911. Johannes Svensson, Svensson. Oh, good luck. There's a cross back there. See it? Yeah. Two stones. That's somebody's, some family's gravesite here. That's where you get the ticks. Yeah. Look on the ends of the leaves when you're walking. All right, let's go find some place to camp. Oh yeah, looks good over there. This might work here. Let's see if there's something closer to the water. I could do these two right here. It might be a little too close, but that's that's doable. I'm good, good. I, I'm good. <laughs> oh, there's somebody camping right there. Yeah. There's a tent, tent right there. It's supposed to be 300 feet away or something. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go right there somewhere, somewhere right there. I just wanna see if there's a path to the water from here. Oh, here's a nice spot for you down here if you want. Let's see what it looks like up here. Oh, somebody's here. Beautiful spot. There's people all over here. There's two more over there. Go check it out. I'll meet you back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back through this way. Okay. I'll meet you down there. I'm gonna go that way and go around. All right. Because maybe find some people out there. Okay. Because these people already got here. I mean, there's further spots gotta be down, right? I'm thinking, unless, unless they started filling that way and then backing up this way. But who knows? We got it. We should go that way and check. But I'm gonna just go back through here again, because this was kind of all right. I mean. I like this spot right there. Good, how you doing? Yeah. 
After about 30 minutes of searching, we ended up further down towards the point and found this amazing spot to camp for the night. We were pretty hungry by now, so we went down to the beach, filtered some water, and made some dinner. What you eating for dinner? <laughs> I'm gonna wait till your mouth's full. Third time. Chicken, fried rice. <laughs> How's it taste? <laughs> what do you give it on a one to 10 as far as uh, camping meals go? I'll give it an 8.5. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, that's pretty high score. Um, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> this is um, cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. Straight from the government, the U.S. government. Oh, thank you. Right from the uh, um, 1.99 Army. Is that all it was? 1.99. Should have bought one. Yeah, I have one if you want. And I have the next one. There's the uh, nature hike tent for Kurt. The uh, five star hotel. Two cloud, the cloud up, cloud up two or something. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then back over there, I got a hammock set up. Right now we're underneath this big, massive, beautiful white pine overlooking Lake Michigan, uh, North Manitou Island. Beef pasta marinara on deck and eating an avocado from that avocado bush over there. Yeah, what about a tree? <laughs> we just grow it. It'll be there next year. <laughs> I promise you. We'll <laughs> Come back. <laughs> you just missed it. My cruise ship just passed. Yep. Hopefully they come back and get us. <laughs> we'll put the SOS out, send up the flares. Mm -hmm. All right, time to eat. With our bellies full, we decided to go searching some of the old ruins. I'm following the map to the Borneek residence. Yep. There it is. This was a dance hall structure in Chicago. It was his place he built here for a summer home. What a beautiful place he's got here. The beach is right out there. There's ruins of something. That was a shack, there's a window, a roof line. Nice abandoned shack, ruins. Even had cement board here. Or stones brought in, I'm not sure. Anybody in here? Just the boogeyman. Watch out for living here. We searched for the Barnake's car in the woods nearby but couldn't find it. It was getting dark, so we headed back to camp. At 3 a.m., I awoke to some of the most amazing stars I've ever seen. The whole Milky Way was lit up. I tried to take some pictures, but none of them came out good. We started the day up here at the dock and the village, and we walked down the trail here. At some point we walked out onto the beach and came back to the trail. We went down here to the cemetery And we camped down somewhere along here. We went up to the Barniques and looked for this car and never did find it.